The HDMI 2 specification is 4K60 at 444. That requires 18 gigabits per second. There is no infrastructure in place today that can handle that. HDBase-T, which is the industry standard, and fiber top out at 9 gigabits per second. That's why no one is actually transmitting, processing, or distributing 4K60 444. Allowances must be made to get the bandwidth down to 9 gigabits per second for long distance transmission. There are two ways that this is done. Either reduce the frame rate or by chroma subsampling. Each has its advantages based on the application. If you're displaying full motion video, then 4K60 420 is the better option. Otherwise, the video will look really choppy. If you're presenting static images such as PowerPoint, Excel spreadsheets, or X-rays, then the frame rate won't matter, so 4K30 444 is the better choice. The human eye is much more sensitive to brightness than to color. That's why even Blu-ray, the gold standard for video quality, chooses chroma subsampling to reduce bandwidth. The human eye doesn't really distinguish between 444 and 422. Choppy video, or lower luminance, is much more distracting to our eyes and our brains. Which one of these looks better to you? That's why even Blu-ray, which is the gold standard for video quality, uses 420 chroma subsampling to reduce bandwidth. So now you know, frame rates and luminance are much more important for great video than chroma.